Attention troopers, this is your Imperator Darwin Stein. While we wait for the voting period of the Community Research Grants, I would like to show you my playthrough in Timberborn. We're starting a new game with Iron Teeth. This is the second playable faction in the game that you can unlock after playing with Folktales up to a certain point. And these two factions can construct different buildings that are unique to each other, therefore raising the replay value of the game. For those of you who are not familiar with the game, Timberborn is a city building sim where humans have gone extinct a long time ago and beavers are the next species to take over the planet. Our job is to make sure these beavers can thrive and develop their civilization. And we are currently in the experimental branch, so we are going to see some new features in addition to the unique iron teeth buildings. Okay. So in order not to get stuck deciding the name of our settlement, what I like to do is slide my hand on the keyboard and work with anything that comes up until it forms a word, or something that sounds like a word. In this case, let's take the second part that says fire her. Then add some letters after it to form a new word. Now let's agree that we will pronounce this made up word as Firestall and pretend it means something profound and inspiring in beaverish language. And this is the Iron Teeth Beavers. Let's pause the game and start securing some water. As you can probably imagine, water is crucial in Timberborn and in order to get some, we need a water pump or a deep water pump which is unique to this faction apparently. Let's create some roads from the district center all the way to the riverside. And after getting some water, the next resource we have to secure is food. Right now, we have plenty of food from starting a new map, but it will eventually run out. We can build this gatherer flag where we can assign a beaver to gather those wild blueberries. After making arrangements for food and water, it's time to get some raw material. The starting raw material in Timberborn is, well, timber. And as to why they call it logs instead of timber is beyond me, but we can gather some logs with the lumberjack flag. Where we can assign a beaver to start cutting down trees. After we specify the area for the lumberjack to operate, only then they will start cutting down some trees. Now we have to prepare some storage facilities. We need a dedicated building for logs, which I will build right here. And for everything else, we need a warehouse. We can prioritize a specific construction by clicking this button and the beavers will construct this water pump before anything else. Water also needs a dedicated storage, so we'll build some water tanks. The iron teeth will not reproduce on their own, so we'll need to build some cloning facilities. This breeding pod can produce new iron teeth children for the affordable price of 5 water and 5 berries. Let's add one more lumberjack to speed up our construction process. And we'll connect this slope to the district center so our beavers can access the woods on the higher plains later. If you find a burial like this in the riverside, our beavers can actually demolish them.
and water from the river will start to spill into this pond. As water moves into it, the ground surrounding the pond will turn green, which means that they are irrigated and ready to be cultivated. To start cultivating the land for food, we need to build a farmhouse. We can build the farmhouse on a dry land and specify the planting area somewhere else. We also need to provide some shelter for our beavers and for iron teeth, they live in barracks. While the farmhouse is getting built, we'll mark the area for the farmers to plant some carrots. And we can demolish these blueberries to free up some more space. Now that we have plenty of resources, let's move on to produce some planks. A plank factory needs power to operate, so we'll need to build a water wheel as well. Planks are produced directly from logs and can be used to construct more complex buildings, like stairs and platforms, which are vital to build vertically. Now before drought comes, we need to dam this river so it can retain some water and keep our land green. And as if on cue, we have drought in coming in 3 days. Let's hope our beavers can finish the dam in 3 days. If not, our carrot crops are gonna dry up and die, and then our beavers will certainly follow suit. So the drought is coming tomorrow and our dam is only halfway finished. Let's hope our water tanks can hold out until the drought is over. Thankfully, the drought is only a couple days long and we have enough water in reserve to last more than that. The carrot crops, however, are drying up. Hopefully, the food storage can last for a couple of days. I think now is a good time to build the science building to unlock more technologies. And perhaps a second farmhouse to help cultivate the land after the drought is over. Finally, the dam construction is complete. As you can see, it holds water at half a level. And it also serves as a crossing, which means that this lumberjack flag can reach these woods. Looks like we're running out of food and the crops are still halfway from ripe. This is an obvious blowback from not completing the dam in time, which forces the farmers to replant the crops, significantly delaying harvest time. This is a food crisis of an unprecedented scale in Firestall. Farmers are going into starvation while waiting to harvest the carrot. And harvest time comes just in time. Wow, that is too close for comfort. The farmers can finally harvest their crops while in the brinks of starvation. With the dam completely built, surely the next drought will be easier for our beavers. As we are running out of wild trees to get down, we need to build a forester. This building can employ beaver whose only job is to plant trees, which means that our lumberjacks can have a sustainable source of logs. After building the forester, we can choose what trees to plant and where, just like the food crop. I'm going with maple trees for their highest yield of logs. And we also need to start to plant our own berries in case we run out of wild ones. Because the maple trees take so long to mature, I'm going to plant some birch trees as well as a short term logs producer. To recap, this is our settlement so far. We have some farmland producing carrots at a very high surplus rate. 
way more than our population of 27 can ever consume. So no more starving farmers and delayed harvest. We have started to plant our own blueberries, maple, and birch trees. I also created a second forester area with even more maple trees, while also cutting down wild trees from the dry higher plain. We have two plant factories running, with space for one more. Now let's start to build vertically, starting with the log pile. When planning a vertical building, always make sure to leave some space for a stairwell. You do not want to find yourself building a skyscraper with no access to the second floor. For starters, let's stack the log pile into four levels. Since the log pile is one level tall, I like to arrange the stairwell in this 3x2 configuration to make sure each floor can be accessed from this single stairwell. And you can repeat this pattern of stairs and platforms forever as long as it can be reached from the district center. Don't forget to create paths on the platforms so our beavers can access the stairwell. After creating a stairwell, simply connect the building with a series of platforms and do the same thing for the upper levels as well. Now we only need to stack the building on the other side with the same arrangements. Add one more platform to access the very first row. Repeat the pattern long enough and you'll get yourself a skyscraper. I'm gonna let the game run itself as we wait for our beavers to build this massive log storage. And this is the completed look of a four-story log storage complex. And we are about to do the same thing with warehouses. I'm gonna use the large variant that can hold 1000 goods. The shape is a bit awkward but we can smooth it out with some platforms. Leave some space for the stairwell and start stacking them up. We already have a stairwell that can access this side, so you can just connect them with some platforms. Since the warehouses are two levels tall, we're building the stairwell in this 3x3 three three configuration. Because the stairwell is right next to the district center, you can repeat this pattern for longer and create an even taller skyscraper. While we're at it, let's create an apartment complex using this barracks. And since we're low on planks, I'm gonna build the foundation out of levees. This will be a mountainside apartment complex for our beavers to live in. And since we already have a stairwell right next to it, we can just connect them with some platforms.
to these are more basic building complexes, log storage, warehouses, and barracks. Keep in mind that we haven't even built anything with gears or iron. So I'll keep the game run itself and let the beavers get to work. This is Devin Stein signing off.